<laughs> yeah, it's alright. No, I've just built it up. Hand job love it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh guys. Relax. Would you calf valley? Uh maybe yeah at the end. Yeah, well we'll see there you all the fish in that part. So yeah, it's not just my eye this bike got the attention of. I saw this bike pop up on eBay and had to have it. The pink, the name. I had to. I've been after a decent early 2000s rig for a while and this was the perfect base. A Columbus tubing, Canadian made, North Shore style frame from a renowned bike shop and manufacturer. They were sold as the frame only and built up over here as spec. This is a lot of bike for the money. With a 9 speed Shimano Dior drivetrain and a whole host of race race parts. This was already a well specced bike, but look closely and you'll see an awesome pair of Shimano Dior XT 4 pot calipers. Someone specced this bike to stop. Today though, I'm going to give it a bit of an upgrade. 12 speed, let's go.
dirty and rusty. And that derail is missing something.
<웃음> 무슨 힘드나? So this is where you find yourself a uh, good bike shop. See when I bought this off eBay it didn't come with that long bolt. It came with the bracket but not the bolt so it only came with the one that you can mount onto the brake lever itself. So I was a bit stuck. So I nipped down the bike shop and um, that's really tight. Come on. Uh. <laughs> there we go. And uh, they had one, or oh, they borrowed one for me. Um, so I can fit this. Some green grips, some Saracen grips. Green look good on that. I don't know. Green. It's going to be one of those days where the sun goes in, goes out, goes in and goes out. And this is another reason why you find yourself an awesome bike shop. This is the 12 speed Shram Eagle NX derailleur that I bought off eBay, used. I'm really hoping it works. Um, but as you probably saw a second ago in the video, this uh, bolt, <laughs> it was just sliding along on it because at the back it's missing a bracket. Now I went to the bike shop, um, two wheels only by the way. Is my bike shop. The sun's come out. Wow, the sun really came out then. So I went to my bike shop, two wheels only. I spoke to which the guys there, um, and well, basically, just asked if they had any parts for it, any like spares. Um, I checked on the system; we can actually order a new hanger, but they had this 11-speed broken derailleur. Um, I guess it's took a bash there. It's pretty stiff and possibly bent, but it has the bracket on. So now I've got to work out how to get this bracket off and put it onto my 12-speed. They look identical. It basically just acts as the B-limit screw and then sits against the frame. So that should do the job. I've just got to work out how to get that off. Well, 
Okay, okay, I worked out. I worked out. So, you see that right? Let's zoom in. So, this uh, bolt on these derailers comes off with there's this little spring washer that is clipped over the top. Um, I managed to use a screwdriver, fine point screwdriver, and just somehow find the end. But that is the bracket that I need, just that bracket. But you can push out the bolt after. And there we have it. So in theory, if I take my derailleur now, they look pretty much identical. So what I'm going to do is find where I put my grease there. I'll put some grease in there, you know. <laughs> Loads of grease. Because why not? Pop that through. I can wipe off the excess in a bit. Don't know why I haven't got gloves on either. This should sit on there like that right well, I've got it upside down got it upside down when you put it on the right way sits on there sits in there and now somehow I've got to get this spring washer back in place which I might have to do off camera because They are really fiddly. I'm <laughs> done it, done it, done it. So yeah, big thanks to Pete and Steve for looking for these parts for me in their spares, the two wheels. Um, this should hopefully now go on, maybe. That's what we like. Okay. Yes. <laughs> well, I can tell you one thing. The routing of these uh, newfangled 12 speed derailers is something else. It comes through here, round a pulley, down to the back, through a guide, but you've got to make sure you poke it through a hole from the back and then it comes over the top of the pinch bolt and round so you have to make sure you get it yeah right maybe That's uh, 12, 11, okay, 10, okay, 9, 8, seven, six, five. doesn't want to climb. Three, 
two, one. Okay, so just realised my chain is <laughs> really close to my tyre. <laughs> About another half turn on the limit. I mean, on the uh, thingy. Uh, adjuster. Okay, that was it. Apart from it gets stuck there. Half turn on the adjuster side that out, but um, yeah. Okay, so all I did was just wind in this B limit screw a tiny little bit more, and the sun just come out and ruined my exposure. Yeah, kind of. So, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There we go. Should be good now. Final piece of the puzzle, just stick on my birth tip pedals. I'm not a huge fan of these because they um, composite and they are kind of just well they're not too old and they're already getting a bit loose loosey goosey and that's it time to try this 12 speed conversion on the trails well that's it i'm impressed I had so much fun on the first ride out at Canic Chase. It worked beautifully and got some attention too. As you saw at the beginning, a couple of chaps loved it so much they wanted a picture of it. I managed to find them after so they got their picture and we had a good little chat about bikes. What's even cooler though, the bill got featured on the bike vault on GMBN. Daddy and Neil gave it a super nice. Thanks guys. I'm not done with the bike yet though. I'd love a lighter wheel build down the line and perhaps a fork upgrade. A dropper post was on the list, but the seat post is 26.8 mil. Damn. This was a fun project. I'd wanted to try a 12 speed after seeing Adam at Toasty Rides build one. The used parts I bought threw a spanner in the works a little bit, but with the help of the guys at my local bike shop, I quickly got it sorted. If you're looking for the bike specs, check the description. I'll type it out there so you can see what parts I used. Anyway, hope you like this build. Thanks for making it this far in the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Here we go, Cove, you used to have a Cove, and this is the oh. hand job, Canic Chase, bright pink. I could tell you a horrendous story about the name of this bike. <laughs> I just don't think you need to. <laughs> <laughs>
this is marked by the new build complete and taken from its maiden ride. It's had a bit of a modern upgrade. I guess this is an old 26 inch. Yeah. Is it? It looked quite I big. I think actually. so, yeah. I love it. I think it's an awesome looking bike. Yeah. What was the code that you had? Is it full suspension? I've had quite a few. I had the Peeler downhill bike. I had the G Spot, which is a sort of five inch, four inch travel bike. I had a Hooker. I had four play. You know, I've had loads over the years. Uh, <laughs> do they still make bikes? That much I don't know. No. If they do, I've not heard from them for a long time. I haven't either. Anyway, super nice deal. <laughs>